morning guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm delighted to be joined by ex Sadler's captain Martin O'Connor. How are you doing Martin? I'm very well, thank you. So yourself? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. So my first question is, how did you get into playing football? Um, my dad was um, from Jamaica, so he was a cricketer, but my mum mm. and my uncles always loved football and I have supported Liverpool, so I think it was... Um, sort of destined for me to be a footballer. Um, going through school, I was in loads of sports teams, but football was my main joy, my main priority, really. Yeah. Um, who was your footballing idol? Well, um, I had a few, to be fair. Um, I think growing up, Maradona, um, Pelé, you know, the top, top players, Kevin Keegan, because my uncle supported Liverpool and then it was Graham Soonis. Um, but then later, later on, it was the likes of John Barnes and especially people like Cyril Regis, really. Yeah. Um, you won the Southern League Premier Division in 1991-92 with Bromsgrove Rovers. How did that feel? Um, Seb, it was my first real taste of, if you like, real football. Um, you know, we used to train twice a week. And I've got to be honest, growing up, um, my teenage years, my later teenage years, I, I, my attitude wasn't the best. So... Um, to, to be disciplined enough to train on a Tuesday and a Thursday and then probably not go out on a Friday to play Saturday for Bromsgrove. Um, Dummy a world of good. And um, at the time, the, the club um, was um, managed by an ex football an ex Midlands legend, Bobby Hope, who sort yeah. of put me on the road um, that, 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 I took, that I took. You earned a move to Crystal Palace um, after Bromsgrove's Rovers. How did it feel to sign your first professional contract? Uh, it was surreal because I'd been to Cambridge on trial, I'd been to Derby, um, I'd spoke to Steve Coppola at Crystal Palace, I'd spoke to Harry Redknapp at Bournemouth, um, and having been judged by a few people who I respected in their game, Bobby Hope, Grenville Paley, mm -hmm. um, that's to Haymai and, and go to the, the biggest club that I could do, and at the time Crystal Palace were in the Premier League. Um, yeah. So I went to, to, to Crystal Palace in London, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time, which really... I didn't play many games for the first team, um, but I yeah. think it, it paved the way for me to, to my attitude to get better. Yeah. In 1993, you signed for the Saddlers on loan. How did the transfer come about to sign on loan? Again, um, it was time for me to, to, to get games in, first team games. And um, I went to speak to John Duncan at Chesterfield. Um, yeah. And at the time, also were um, managed by Kenny Hibbert, but they had a general manager called Paul Taylor who yeah. came to down, all the way down to Southampton to watch me play in the reserve down at Crystal Palace. And on the way back from, from Chesterfield, um, I got a phone call to say Walsall were interested. So I went and spoke to Paul Taylor and Kenny Ebert at Walsall. Yeah. Obviously being a local lad and my local club, um, that sort of wavered me to go to, to my local club rather than go to Chesterfield. And it was the right decision. The following year, you signed permanently and played a key role in getting promoted in the 1994, 93-94 season. How did it feel to get promoted with the Saddlers? Um, obviously, it was my first real um, taste of success in a football team. Um, it was my field, first real taste of playing week in, week out and first team level. Um, we had a great change room at Walsall at that time. And again, I've got to say, Paul Taylor... Um, built a team, um, and obviously Chris Nichols uh, managed a team, but he built a team where we had, not I wouldn't say stars, but we had some good players. Um, the spawn yeah. of the team, from goalkeeper through to defence, midfield, strike, we had goals in the team, and then in wide areas. So I think overall that season was a fantastic season. And you look back now and realise how good those players were you, you, you played with them to get promotion. Who was the best player you played with at Walsall? I'll be honest, um, I thought you might ask me this, but I can't really yeah. pick any one individual out because we had some fantastic players. Um, yeah. you know, we had some senior players, Charlie Palmer, Kevin Wilson, Colin Gibson. Yeah. We had some quality. We had the likes of Scotty Out and Chrissy Marsh, um, yeah. Carl Lightburn. So I think as a, to, it would be fair for me to pick any individual out of that at that time. What was your favourite game you played in for Walsall? Um, wow, well, if you're talking my whole career, um, I think bury your way to get promotion that year. Um, unfortunately, I didn't finish the game, I got injured, uh, I got um, a gash in the shin, but I think that was a pivotal game to get us promotion. But I think, um, I'll go back to the likes of when I first played for, for Walsall and 
Um, I scored my first ever league goal. I think it was away at Darlington, I think. Yeah. So that rings a bell. But yeah, there's been plenty of memorable moments. Leeds in the FA Cup final, at, um, the FA Cup um, at yeah. home was a fantastic occasion. But there's been many, many, many good games at um, Best Cup. After your spell at Walsall, you moved to Peterborough and then Birmingham. Can you describe how you're um, feeling when you went to Peterborough and Birmingham City? Um, to Peterborough, um, I was disappointed in Walsall. I've got to be honest. Um, speaking to Paul Taylor and the manager, Chris, um, had offered me a deal all through the season, but he'd never really come to fruition. And, um, mm. you know, that he'd come to a point where Barry Fry had already tried to get me at Blues and I turned that down thinking that I might get a, a deal at Walsall. It didn't come, so I moved on and Barry Fry, fortunately for me, moved to to Peter and Nissan that summer, um, the tribunal fee. Um, I can't remember what the fee was. Um, but, you know, I, my form was good going into that move and it continued and, you know, four or five months, I think it was, I was there and there was an offer coming to, from, from Trevor France at Birmingham City to go to, to play at Blues and yeah. um, the money was right for, for Peterborough. The move was right for myself. Um, and it was a challenge. Peter Woods in the championship, you know, because I'd always played in second division or first division back then and, I think to play in the championship where I thought I could play and play for a club which was on my doorstep. How did it feel to play in the League Cup final for Birmingham City against Liverpool? Again, you know, you, you talk about memorable moments. Um, it's, it's one of those that you never forget um, and to lead the team out to be captain, um, which has been an honour, you know, most clubs I've played at was fantastic and the atmosphere um, you know, I never really got nervous before games, but that was the, yeah. the biggest game, I, you know, I got nervous on. And it was a fantastic um, occasion. Unfortunately, the result didn't go for us, but it's a great memory I, I hold dear. You then joined Walsall in 2002. How would you sum up um, your second spell at the club? Um, I'd, yeah, I mean, Steve Bruce was an editor to be out. Um, and it was time for me to move on. I've been two years, I've been captain. Um, like you said, led them to a, a cup final. So um, it was time to, you know, fresh challenges. And for, fortunate for me, Colin Lee, who was manager at Walsall, um, I think Walsall were bottom of the championship at the time. We had a meeting at Elva Coffee, and he just said he wanted me to come in and um, help the team stay in the championship because that was his goal. And um, with what I what he thought I brought to the, the team, um, he wanted to bring that to, to Walsall. And again, coming back home was a, a good move for me and for personal reasons and luckily um, we stayed in the championship I think it was Sheffield United we beat away and um, Steve Coke scored so for Walter to stay in the championship you know consecutive seasons was a fantastic achievement. Who was the best player you've played against? Against? Um, yeah. Again I'll be honest I've played against um, some really good top top players Gerard and Lampard and Scholes, um, Ginola and Andy Cole and Dwight York but I think Roy Keane, I played against Roy mm. Keane in a, in a game at Blues Reserves when he's coming back from injury and I was coming back from injury and he was unbelievable even in that game so I'd have to say Roy Keane. Who was the best manager you've worked under? Um, yeah, any manager that's brought me, I've, I've respected. Um, you know, I think setting my career alight really, um, Chris Nicholl did well for me although he was a taskmaster especially against, with me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying he used to bully me or pick on me, but he used to mouse his eyes and his his slangy matches half time was aimed at me. Probably that was to my else. Um, Bobby yeah. Hope, who really, really got my head together at Bromsgrove. But I think you know Barry Fry was good for me because he got me a bigger move. Trevor Francis, maybe captain of a, a big club. So I respected all my managers I played for. What was your best footballing moment? Um, Wow, okay. Um, I think every game I've played, I've tried to give my best. Um, yeah. I think my debut at Walsall, my league debut, um, was a fantastic achievement for me, bearing in mind. You know, I, I started late in the game, um, 22, 23, when I made professional. So that was a good, achieve, big achievement for me. But I think, um, I think one of my, my, my fondest memories of every club have been made captain of most clubs I play for, which... It's a big achievement and a big honour for me, um, probably because I've got a big mouth. But, um, you know, I, I like to lead by example and I want my teammates to, to be winners. And I think for me, that probably every game I've played has been, a, um, you know, a, a fantastic achievement and a, one that I'll never yeah. forget. 
He took over for the last five games as Walsall manager after Dean Keats was sacked. Was you ever offered a position in the coaching team or first team manager? No. Um, you know, it was unfortunate what happened to, to Dean. Uh, I thought he'd done well and I worked with him since, since the February. And he was a good manager. Um, he's a good coach. Um, the players at the time weren't quite on the same page as him and what he wanted at times. Um, yeah. And yeah, I mean... When, you, when you're offered the chance to, to lead your team out with an armband in your play, you're going to take it. Um, and again, when, you, when you're given a chance to, to manage and coach and you, you, your home team, you're going to do that. And fortunately, unfortunately, you know, we didn't quite get to the, to the level I, I thought we could get at in those five games to keep us in the division. And yes, yeah. you know, we, I think it was Peter we played really well at Lesket yeah. and beaten 3 0. And I was told the other week that I'm, I'm the only manager. Walsall not to be beaten at Bescott, which is a great achievement. I only played, I was only in charge twice. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's unfortunate. But yeah, you, me being me, I, t- I took the challenge um, and it didn't quite work out. Would you ever consider going back into management? Um, good question. Um, mm. I think football's changed now, Seb, for me. Um, it would have to be a, 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 an offer that obviously I couldn't refuse, but it would have to be enough where you, you, you're given time and the right tools to, to do the job you want to do properly. And I think nowadays, too many people um, are in football for the wrong reasons. And I only play football really not for the money. It was basically just to, to play football because I, I love the game. And um, yeah. yes, I, the answer to your question would be yes, but it'd have to be the right job. Finally, how are you getting on with your football and education academy? It's going really well. Um, we're on a break now. Um, yeah. Obviously, we, the pandemic, it's affected us, but we're on a break now till September. We're looking to recruit more players for our academy. Um, we've had a few near Mississippi players going on trials to various clubs. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's our seventh year, um, and it's something that I'm, I'm proud to, to have started and to continue. Thanks for coming on to the channel, Martin, and speaking with me. I appreciate it a lot. Cheers, sir. Take care. If you like if you like this video please like it and subscribe to the channel and up the saddlers.